come to metamorphic class on in my last video i had discussed the acf diagram and today we will discuss akf diagram both these acf and akf diagrams were developed by escola 1915 the acf diagram we have discussed in my last video and today we are going to discuss akf diagram now the plotting of akf diagram is similar to that of acf diagram but akf diagram is for platic rocks that are usually low in cao or you can say in which in the rocks if al2o3 is greater than na2o plus k2o plus cao in the platic rocks of amphibolite and higher faces the co cao is contained mainly in anorthite molecule the effects of k2o on the mineral on the af side of aca diagram can be clarified by examining al2o3 remaining after formation of na k and cf elspars so nevertheless this akf diagram was also developed by escola 1915 and in this you can see that the a is your al2o3 plus fe2o3 minus na2o k2o plus cao this is a different from acf diagram in acf it was al2o3 plus fe2o3 minus na2o plus k2o here it is minus na2o plus k2o minus cao so this a is in akf diagram is different from your acf diagram secondly the here it k k means it is k2o k2o and similar to that in acf diagram f is your feo plus mgo plus mno so this is the only a k f this are the values that are calculated and then they are plotted in triangular graph paper so to once again explain the akf diagram was given by escola and what you will be given you will be given the chemical composition of a metamorphic rock and also its model analysis for the accessory minerals similar to acf diagram first step will be that you will correct for the accessory minerals the correction for the accessory minerals is made means the accessory minerals they are not considered in the plotting means the composition of the accessory minerals they are not used in the plotting of akf diagram similar to that of acf diagram so the first step will be that we will make for the correction for the accessories the various accessory minerals that are present generally are the say ilmenite so you all know that ilmenite is molecular proportion means 1 mole of feo dot 1 mole of your tio2 so the 50% of ilmenite is subtracted from feo say feo is one ilmenite is 1% so you will subtract 0.5 from your feo weight percent of the rock given rock composition similarly if magnetite is given say magnetite is given 1% as accessory mineral then you will subtract 0.7 from fe2o3 and 0.3 from feo because magnetite is fe2o3 dot feo and the ratio is 17 to 30 so the 0.7 you will subtract from fe2o3 weight percent oxide data of the given rock composition and 0.3 from the feo composition if you are given sphene and sphene composition you, you all know that it is cao dot tio2 dot sio2 these are the three oxides in the sphene and their proportion is 30 30 30 when said so means 0.3 you will subtract from composition of cao so whatever the amount of sphene is given say again it is given 1% so 0.3 you will subtract from cao and 
Lastly, if your this hematite is given, hematite composition, if you know it is Fe two O three, so as such the percent of Fe that hematite is subtracted from Fe two O three. Say one percent hematite is given, then you will subtract one percent from Fe two O three, weight percent oxide that of the rock. Then this corrected SSD mineral weight percent is converted into molecular proportion by dividing each oxide with its molecular weight. This is an important step. Means after correction for the SSD minerals, the given rock weight percent oxide data is converted into molecular proportion by dividing each oxide with its molecular weight. So we will get the molecular proportion. Then. After that, we will put in the equation which is given here. This A, this is the equation. We will put these your molecular proportions in this formula, and we will calculate A, K, and F. So whatever the molecular proportion that comes for A, K, and F, they are recalculated to hundred. After recalculation to hundred, we will get percent form of A, K, and F. And that percent form will be plotted into your triangular graph. If you will plot, you will find that again this this M this is Al two O three. This corner will represent Al two O three. Means your kyanite, andalusite, sylvanite, such minerals, Al two O three rich minerals or Al two O three bearing minerals will be plotted in the on the corner or on the top side. On the left side, it is K. Means minerals like your microclean because they have composition that K two O dot Al two O three dot six S I O two S I O two and that are not taken so it is your microclean will plotted here in this diagram mind it calcite and olestonite will cannot be plotted so keep in mind in ACF diagram we used to plot in the on this corner as calcite and olestonite but now they because C A is not considered here so K. This is this is corner is for the K. Or uh, this is means your microclean will be plotted here. And like in ACF diagram on this F side, this is your corner. This side, it is again FeO plus MgO plus MnO means minerals like your hypersthene and ammonite. The same minerals which we plot on ACF diagram can be plotted here. So this is slightly in the sense different from your ACF diagram. Particularly on the left hand side, this is K instead of your C, and the procedure is same for calculating calculating out A K values that which was there for the A C A values means the rock again to to clarify both for A C F and A K F what we will be given you will be given the chemical composition of the rock in weight percent oxide that weight percent form. And also, you will be given the model composition of different accessory minerals if they are present or if they have been determined. Then you have to calculate the A, K, and F values, and then you have to plot on the A, K, F diagram. The procedure just I discussed will be the first step will be that you will correct for the accessory minerals. The corrected weight percent oxide data is converted into molecular proportion. These molecular proportions. They will be put in the equation, A, K, and F. The values will be in molecular or in decimal forms. These you will recalculate to hundred, and these percent form values will be plotted on A, K, F diagram. Thus, we can plot your A, K, F. You can say the A, K, F diagram and the various minerals that will be marked in this. This is your storolite here. Then this is chloride that will be plotted here, chloride here. This is chloride, right? Then your muscovite it will come somewhere here. Then biotite here like this. So the different minerals you can understand will be marked or can be plotted individually and as such rock compositions of you can say hundreds of your rocks can they can be marked in this diagram. By the single dot, single dot represents the A K F of a particular rocks. So, taking hundreds of rock 
types or you can say the raw compositions you can mark them and this is for future pathogenetic significance that these values will be utilized or these fields will be help in interpreting different genetic aspect of the rocks so for you it is both in theory and practical for pg students msc final geology students this is in that calculate a c and f as in acf diagram here it will be calculate a k and f values of a metamorphic rock having following chemical composition in weight percent and having following model analysis for the ssd minerals this will be the exercise you will be given and from that you will calculate what i have just discussed akf values and then you will mark in the akf diagram this is for your post graduation level okay thank you very much <coughs>